In this video, I'm going to take that little module that had the clock and the voltage display and the temperature probe, and I'm just going to extend the temperature probe because I've got some projects coming up where I'm going to be uh, testing battery packs and stuff and we need to measure temperature. So I'm just going to extend that and show you how to go about doing that using some heat shrink tubing and stuff. And that little unit will be perfect for testing batteries and measuring voltages and stuff. So let's check this out. So first, I'm going to remove the little temperature sensor from the board. And this is fairly straightforward, so nothing real fancy here. We're just going to heat up the connections and remove it. And basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of a telephone cord. So I've got a nice flexible cord here. And uh, I'm just going to tack down a piece of wire onto the circuit board here. And then the other end of the wire, I'm going to solder onto the temperature probe and then I'm just going to put some heat shrink tubing on there and we'll test it out. What this is going to be for is I've got some uh, companies that want to send me uh, some of their uh, battery packs you know that you would use to recharge your USB devices and we're going to put it through a, a battery of tests. We're going to we're going to put short circuits on it. We're going to take them apart. We're going to measure the temperature of the cells. We're going to measure the temperature of the protection circuit. So I need something that I can actually stick on circuits to actually test them out. And I thought, I had this little module, I thought, you know, this is this would be perfect for this because this unit here, not only will it measure the temperature, but I can actually power the unit from the battery that's under test and it'll show me the voltage. So I thought, I've got this module, why not? So this is just a quick little demo on how to extend that temperature probe. So I'm just going to encapsulate the actual, not only the connections, but the actual probe itself in some heat shrink tubing. This is to protect the connections and also to protect the actual uh, temperature probe itself. So I'm just going to leave the tip of the probe exposed so that I can get an accurate read on whatever I want to test the temperature on, but I want to cover everything else up with the uh, heat shrink tubing. So I've just powered the unit up to my variable power supply and we're seeing what voltages it'll go down to. It looks like it'll go down to what, about 3.8 volts before it, before it shuts down. And it'll look at the temperature. The probe is still warm from me heating it up there. Let's give it a few minutes to uh, cool down a bit here. Got to portable blowtorch that I was uh, using to seal the heat sink. It puts out quite a bit of heat. I uh, took that one away from my kids that, quote, don't smoke, yet they seem to require a lighter. Hmm. Funny how that is, right? It's funny you don't say, oh, my friends, they smoke. That's why I'm carrying a lighter. I'm, I'm holding their lighter for them. Yeah, right. 
So this is about the correct temperature right now and here it's about 22 degrees. Here's the sensor that I've now extended. Now what I'll be able to do with this is if I need to measure the temperature of a battery for example, I'm going to use this as a... Um, the nice thing about this is when I do some tests on these battery packs that I'm planning on doing some some diagnostics on, we'll, we'll put the, these USB supplies under full load and uh, I'll be able to use this to actually directly measure the voltage coming off of the battery so I can measure the cells, right? I can measure the, the, the cell voltage. In this case, I'm on my, my power supply and I can vary this up and down, right? It can, it'll tell me the actual voltage from the cells. It'll tell me the voltage from the, uh, from the buck converter for USB output. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a jig that I can load these battery packs down, these charging packs that you would use like for charging your phone. I'm going to load them down to, you know, if they rate it at 2 amps, we're going to draw 2 amps for it and we'll see how long they go for. And uh, with this external temperature probe now that I've made from this little module, see that's why I got this little module to, to begin with, with this little temperature probe, I can actually monitor the voltage and monitor the temperature. See so if I hang on to this thing, you'll see that the temperature starts going up. So what I basically did was I took the little temperature sensor that was on the back, mounted on the back here, and I've now made it an external temperature sensor. So this little module is going to be part of my test jig. And I may mount uh, stuff into a uh, into a plastic box or just for testing purposes I may just connect it up to resistors and that way when I open up a battery pack we can just stick this right down directly on the cells and monitor the cell temperature or monitor the converter temperature. It go, it'll go up to 60 degrees so I'm not going to touch the soldering iron against it obviously because it'll, it'll damage it. But if I just hold it close you'll see that the heat from here. So this will measure temperatures up to 60 degrees and I don't think that we'll ever have electronics that, that uh, we have to worry about being hotter than that. Right here we go 44, 45 right this will go up to 60 before it goes into an overload condition. See? So, I think we'll be okay using this as a test jig. And this will come in handy because I can not only monitor the temperature of the cells, but I can monitor the uh, the actual battery voltage as well and it should be a mode on this thing that uh, will switch between all modes there we go so in that mode it'll tell me the time and it'll tell me the battery voltage and the temperature so I think this little module will come in handy for doing tests when I start doing charge tests and discharge tests as I say, I've got um, I've got a couple of battery packs that are coming in for evaluation uh, from a manufacturer who's they're sending me their battery pack and they're sending me the competition's battery pack, and they want some comprehensive tests. So I think that this will do the job as far as being able to actually test the temperature of the cells, test the temperature of the electronics. As I say, I'm going to build a test jig, and we'll be able to load them down. And a test jig is just going to be resistors, right? put in different values of resistors which will allow me to put um, the packs under full load and then we can use we can use the ammeter function of the meter here um, to monitor uh, what's going on. Now this unit is actually quite sensitive. The temperature in here is about 22 degrees. And you don't think that, that uh, LEDs put out much heat. But watch what happens when I hold the sensor. over top of the LED. It's actually picking up the heat from the actual LED if I hold it over a portion that's not lit. It'll go back down. So the display itself is slightly warmer than the ambient temperature. interesting yet it doesn't you know it doesn't really feel whoops press some buttons there it doesn't feel like it's warmer but if I measure things like this little power supply that's been running for 
a while here. Well, this most certainly is warmer. And if I put the if I put the sensor in here, especially if I put the sensor down in the vicinity of the the regulator. So I think this little temperature probe will do the job quite nicely for uh, measuring the ambient temperature of batteries while they're being charged and discharged.